Carboxylic acids react with alcohols to form an ester molecule. Here is a generic version of this reaction. Here's a carboxylic acid. Here's the alcohol that we're reacting it with. And here is the ester product. In this reaction, the R group from the alcohol is replacing the hydrogen atom of the carboxylic acid. So the R group from the alcohol ends up on the oxygen making the carboxylic acid into an ester. This reaction is performed under acidic conditions. H2SO4 is the acid that is most commonly used for this reaction, although sometimes you would just see it written as H+, which is an abbreviation for H2SO4, or you might see H3O+. This reaction also does require some heat, so usually people will write heat underneath the arrow to communicate that heat is necessary. Sometimes you might see a triangle in place of heat. That triangle is our scientific shorthand for heat. So I've got three examples for you to see how this reaction works using all these different varieties of things that you might see on or under the arrow. Here's our first reaction. In this reaction, we want to start by redrawing the carboxylic acid. So I'm just going to redraw that carboxylic acid molecule uh, because the only thing about the carboxylic acid that changes is just that hydrogen out there on the end. So I'm going to start with the whole thing redrawn. And then what I'm going to do is look at the alcohol, the alcohol molecule. When I'm looking at the alcohol molecule, I want to ignore the OH part of the alcohol. I want to look at everything else. So I'm ignoring the OH, looking at everything else. This Everything else is what's being abbreviated with the letter R in this generic reaction. This CH3 is going to be replacing the hydrogen of the carboxylic acid. So we're just going to erase that hydrogen and we're going to replace it with that CH3. Let's look at another one. Let's start by redrawing our carboxylic acid. Let's draw the whole thing out. And now let's take a look at our alcohol. We're going to ignore the OH. On our alcohol, just ignore all of that. What do we have left? We have this six-membered ring. This is that bond. This guy right here is the bond to the OH. Um, so what we want to do is erase the hydrogen on our carboxylic acid, and we want to draw that bond and the six-membered ring. Connect that to the oxygen. We've got one more example. Let's start by redrawing the carboxylic acid, but this time I'm gonna get a little crazy. We're just gonna not even draw that hydrogen on there because we know we don't need it. Take a look at our alcohol. We're gonna ignore the OH. And what we're gonna draw is, on this oxygen atom over here, we're gonna draw the bond to the CH2CH3. So we'll draw that bond CH2CH3.